Well, thank you. Next tonight, a twisted tale's unfolding in a Baton Rouge courtroom. A woman on trial accused of using poison to murder her live-in boyfriend. Her husband died the same way. Best Casterly is live outside the courthouse tonight. Michael, some may call it a risky choice, others a smart one, but Michelle Hale and her team have opted for a bench trial, which means the fate of her case is in the hands of one man, the judge, instead of your typical 12 jurors. The woman dubbed the Black Widow, free to leave court for a lunch break this afternoon on the first day of her murder trial. Michelle Hale, who does have to wear an ankle monitor, is charged with murdering her boyfriend, Damien Skipper, by poisoning. She's also suspected of doing the same thing to her husband, Arthur Knopflin, just a few months later. Skipper had been to the hospital a few times for stomach pains in the weeks before his death. Investigators say Hale's actual husband, Knopflin, complained of the same symptoms before he went missing and was found dead in a burned up car in New Orleans. Baton Rouge police say the investigation into Knopflin's death led to suspicion that Skipper had been poisoned. Shortly after, Skipper's body was exhumed and Hale was arrested based on what they found. Today on the stand, a pathologist revealed Skipper's liver had more than 2,000 times the amount of barium that any person should have. A fresh dose found in his digestive tract and evidence of previous doses found in his hair. Though Hale's defense says that doesn't prove she did it, the prosecution plans to present evidence that she had Googled barium and purchased it in the weeks leading up to both men's deaths. The motive? More than $750,000 in insurance money, which Hale has never been paid. Now, there are, a, a, there are a lot of witnesses to get through in this trial, but lawyers tell me they expect that it should wrap up within the week. Reporting live, Best Casserly, WBRZ News 2.